Say something. You know he's only doing YouTube for free stuff and money, right? We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. No, I'm not. I'm doing it because I'm an attention whore. So, today, I contemplate what horrible decisions I made in life that led me here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You got to check this out. First off, I do want to say, I'm not going to do any work up front. Because the city sent me a... Uh, request to bid on this property for a city violation right and i am such a prostitute for making videos that i'll bid them at like 20 bucks a piece now because they go to the lowest bidder how am i going to make videos for you guys if i don't win those bids <laughs> so this one here i put in for 20 dollars and i lost it but somebody's having a bad day because they busted the window out. Now up here is the violation here. Unlawful accumulation of debris and trash and weeds. I'm not going to mess with the trash today. But I am going to mess with the weeds. Now, I'm going to quit talking when I get to the back. Because these dogs next door won't stop talking. Let's go and see the job. You gotta see the job. Ooh. Coming around back. It looks crazy and we're not even there yet, okay? Not even there. Mmm. Just, just, just a little damage to the fence. It's okay. Uh, that's Virginia Creeper. No worries there. Trees are growing up around the house like crazy. Clover's a little high. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for. No, 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 no. Not at all. Look at this nonsense. Woo, wait. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Head high, now we're getting into some stuff that's a little more challenging. Hear the dogs? Shh, silent. So there is a house up there and these weeds are insane now here's the thing no abatement job is ever complete without one good old creeping charlie to jack my sinuses up look at it just going crazy and two let me know when you can spot it Woo Poison Ivy City, all back here. So sometimes it has wolves. Poison Ivy City. Those are YouTube puppies. Now I'm not gonna mess with any of the tree stuff. I'm gonna do it. If they approve my $20, we'll come back. <laughs> hey, I don't think this one's as bad as it looks. It looks very intimidating because of the height, but all of the grass is actually laid down from the snow over the winter. So these just shot up early spring weeds, got crazy on them. I don't know what the situation, I don't know what the situation is on the house. I have to assume that it's vacant and somebody's going through something in their life it's pretty irrelevant for me this one i'm just doing because of the challenge okay that's how it works now i've got a new piece of equipment we're going to be using on this and this is not an advertisement they sent it to me they're not paying me for it i'm going to test it out if i like it i like it if i don't i don't um and if i like it you'll see it on my setup more we'll see all right, let's start down here at the end. It's a brand new, good old brush cutter, 42cc Coocher. But we're gonna nickname it the Coochie. 
and Coochie is going to tear some stuff up, all right? So, it's never had gas in it. Let's go ahead and get gas in it. Fire it up, see how it fires up, and see if this bad boy is worth buying. Because I'm going to tell you, if you're a company and you want to send me a product, feel free to do it. I leave my P.O. box down below. But just know, you will get a 100% honest review for me. So if you are not confident in your product, don't do it. All right, let's fill this coochie up. Mm. A little messy there. Oopsie. How dare you? Calm down, Carl. Accidents happen, okay? It's gonna be okay. Let's try firing it up now. All right, so there's an on-off switch here. We're gonna put it to power, okay? Power. We got our trigger. Prime it up. I don't know how many times. Let's go five. And uh, chokes on. Let's give it some more love with the primer. Oh yeah, big shout out to Mr. C's Lawn Care. You can find him on Instagram. Mr. C's Lawn Care. Randy's an awesome dude, y'all check, check out his uh, Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, this real question is, does this start when I have it on? How difficult is it? You gotta have it on first. I broke the guard right away. Apparently you're supposed to have it further back. <laughs> I'll put this on for demonstration, but it's coming back off. Alright, let's get on to the real challenge. Okay, so throughout the video, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of voiceover and let you know what's going on, as well as some stats and different things I've found on this unit and comparable units. So the first thing you saw was I'm putting in my headphones. I will say pretty much any piece of equipment that uses two-stroke, it's loud. Put in headphones. I use a uh, Bluetooth headphone. A lot of people think that I'm not wearing them, but I've got ear protection in. Okay, so I'm using the weed eater uh, head right now, so it's got the string. I will say that the stuff I'm cutting here is real thick and stocky. It did well with it, but the string didn't feed correctly. Now, I'm not going to give the head on this the time of the day to see if I can uh, correct that. I'm going to tell you right now, I think the uh, head that feeds the string is junk. So I would immediately replace that with something else. But as far as um, this unit, I will say 
The engine runs very well. It's got a lot of power. It's a 42.7 cc engine. For the price point, which I'll get into later in the video, I'd say uh, it's pretty impressive for the amount of power you get. So there are a few things that you'll want to change and adapt to make it a better unit, but the price point is good starting out. Okay, so I've already decided I don't like the uh, string head on there, so I'm gonna try the brush blade out, see how that is, and then later I'll put an echo speed feed on it because I do like those heads and we'll see, and, and we'll see how we like it with that. We've got this head, which I gotta tell you right out of the gate, I, I can tell I'm not gonna like this. I actually spent about 10, maybe 15 minutes trying to figure out how to open this. Actually, you got to press down on this spot here. It's the only spot around here. You press down and then you press and twist. One way or the other. Yeah. It's a pain. You press down and then you twist or, I don't know, it's like childproof. And I'm apparently a child. All I'm saying is it's difficult. You can do it. Damn it, it's difficult. All right, so right out the gate, the brush blade seems to be cutting uh, a lot better on this type of uh, material. Keep in mind, this is probably uh, half inch thick stalks at the bottom, and they're starting to get woody. They're not um, really wet, but they're not fully hardened yet. So a lot of the times when weeds like this get real tall, they start to dry out, get real hard, and they turn into almost like tree trunks at the base. And you got to have something like a brush cutter or a machete or a mower or something to cut through them. Uh, so as far as the unit, let's go ahead and talk about some, some different features like the pricing, I think, is the, the biggest thing to talk about. Uh, but we'll get to that. So Kucher is, as far as I know, not a well-named well known name brand and at least not in my area so uh, as far as I know they would be more of a I, I don't want to classify them this way because I don't know for sure but I would say it's a consumer grade versus a commercial grade so let's go ahead and, and have a quick comparison there it's a 42 cc engine um, and then I looked up still and echo to kind of um, compare that to so the uh, Kucher comes in at a price point of $139.99, which is, I believe, cheaper than the cheapest Echo unit you can get. So if you're doing more uh, brush type work, you know, cleaning up crazy stuff, something like this might be, off of a price point, something that you might want to go with if budget is a concern. Now it has a 18 inch wide cutting path and um, reps 7,000 RPMs is what it's saying. I couldn't find that on the Still and Echo as far as how, how much it had for the uh, cutting path and the RPMs, but I assume that it's pretty comparable. Now the Echo um, is a 42cc engine brush cutter. That's the SRM410U. It comes in at the price point of $599. Now, I've never dis been disappointed with Echo products. I, I like Echo. I'm not affiliated or associated with them other than that happens to be what I oftentimes use. I've used still products as well, um, and they're good for me as well. The main thing is most consumer-grade equipment is not up to par with commercial-grade stuff. So if you're going to buy something that's consumer-grade, just know that it may not last as long but depending on how much you're doing this type of work the price point might be worth it to you um, personally i feel like this could probably last a long time but we're gonna see i'm gonna you'll see it on the channel more i'm gonna test it out we're gonna see what the longevity of this unit is now for the still the still fs 360 c e m uh has a 37.7 cc uh, engine and it comes in at a uh, whopping $979.99. They are very proud of that unit. And I'm sure it's a very good unit. So I, I can't tell you whether it's not or, or not. I haven't used it. But the next step up is, um, I want to say it's 45cc engine. And it's 
$1,179.99. So after taxes, you're looking at about $1,000 or $1,200 um, to have something that's in the comparable range for steel. What? What the? So when you compare that to uh, Kuchar's $139, I'd say that's, you know, I mean, that's, that's kind of a no-brainer to try something out if your concern is price point. Now, as far as reviews and everything, I've looked it up a little bit. I haven't seen anything really too negative, although uh, you will see me call out some stuff in this video. You'll see that further on. I want to be very clear that whenever I make a um, product video, because uh, I've never done them, whenever I make them, I will try to be 100% honest with you and just give my honest opinion on whether I would use it or not. And, uh, you know, just off the price point and then feeling the amount of power that the engine has and seeing the capability that I saw that day, I would say that if I was starting out and I was in the situation I was where I was starting out and I didn't have a whole lot of income, I think this would be a unit that would be well worth mine. Um, so I will leave a link down below if that uh, is something you're interested in. It's a helpful uh, Amazon link and you know it is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission if you buy something from it. but. Uh, you know, I mean, when I say that, I think our Amazon commissions for the month are like normally around 30 to $40. So, you know, don't think I'm making a, a ton of money. I'm not trying to get rich off you. I'm just trying to be honest. Somebody offered to send this to me and, uh, you know, they're in obviously a business and I'm willing to support somebody and it's up and coming in our industry. Now, the only reason I mention that is that if I was trying to make a decision on a piece of equipment, I would probably factor in whether or not somebody was given a piece of equipment or not and I would prefer somebody would be honest with me on their opinion I've seen too many unboxing videos where somebody gets something and they unbox it and it's the first time that they've ever seen it and they're like oh this thing's amazing so I guarantee you that's uh, that ain't me signs on for a hard life with me let's finish this out okay so I do want to make it clear that that is improper use of the equipment the uh, brush blade is pretty thin though but if you're gonna be cutting through uh, tall weeds thick grass um, you know I mean smaller brush not three inch trees you're probably safe but um, when it comes to you know Cutting that kind of stuff, you would either want to need a bigger blade or a saw blade or something that would be more appropriate. So if you uh, want to have a decision off the piece of equipment, I would say take into account that, like I said, I'm, I'm, that, was, <laughs> that was improper use, which you'll see a lot with equipment when I'm using it. Now right here, I am uh, readjusting the head. It was a little bit loose and shifted just a little bit. So, you know, it wasn't right in the right orientation, but I didn't really tighten the head up too much. Now, one cool thing I saw about this, this brush cutter is that, I don't know if it was just for shipping purposes, but the shaft on the unit actually came in two pieces. And I don't know if that was, like I said, for shipping purposes or if you can actually get attachments for this. If you can get attachments like, say, a, a chainsaw or hedge trimmers, I think that would be really cool. Now, you would probably need to have some kind of different handle system on it if it had a chainsaw or uh, hedge trimmers. But the fact that it could potentially have the capability for that down the road is a big plus to me. <laughs> 
All right. All right. Not my highest quality work, but this thing is not a precision tool. It's a hack and slash knock stuff down. Now, I don't think this was a legitimate challenge, to be honest. A lot of these weeds, it's, let me take this off. All right, now I don't think it's a real legitimate challenge, or I didn't think it was until I picked this up because this is actually pretty woody. I thought it was still pretty green and soft, but this is, uh, I mean, soft, but it's, it's pretty hard. So it was starting to get, get pretty woody. Um, so what do I think of the Kuchar? Kuchar. Okay, so, so far, it's got the power, it's a powerhouse. It fires up easy. Of course, it's brand new, so I would expect that, but it fires up easy. Now the blade, she's a bit thin, but then again, I don't think you're supposed to be cutting through, you know, two inch wide trees. Will it do it? Yeah, but is it supposed to? No. <laughs> now the guard never stood a chance. And if you've seen my other videos, you know, I could care less about that guard being on there anyways. So it's gonna come off, but I don't think this is gonna be the last we're gonna see of this machine. I gotta actually put it through some tests and see if it's worth it. Um, Cause like I said, if you send me a piece of equipment, I'm gonna treat it probably worse than my own, but I'm gonna treat it as though an employee would treat it because I, I've had employees in the past. And what I can tell you is if you're gonna buy something, you gotta make it worth it. Now, I think this thing comes in somewhere around uh, $200 off the of Amazon. And for the absolute power, if you're cutting crazy stuff all the time, so you live on a farm or maybe you're doing abatement properties, I'd probably pick one up. I, I honestly would. Now, the blade they send you, it'll work. But if you got employees, just know you're going to need to get something a little thicker because it is pretty thin. The guard, if you want to keep the guard, I would... Um, install it further back put the brush blade on first and then the, the weed eater uh, but there's nothing to cut the weed eater line so it's inevitably going to break when the string hits it uh, so the guard never stood a chance now there's one more big test that we have to do okay well, let's go do it and then like i said down the road i'll show this piece of equipment again we're gonna we're gonna put it to work okay oh yeah 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 by the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the devastation here. It it chopped it down. But there's a lot of brush and a lot of... Well, that's poison ivy back there. But a lot of stuff that still needs knocked down and cleaned up. Now, I will 100% make a part two if the city approves my $20 bid. <laughs> my $20 low, dollar low baller bid. Look, I'm making videos. It's different business, okay? If you're mowing lawns, you come across this and you got to pick up brush and everything else you better at least charge four or five hundred bucks okay let's uh let's go do my final test for this okay okay so the final test for the coocher the coochie monster all right you see this here it's the echo this is what i normally use i I am 100% confident in its capabilities. Okay, so I had to move the camera and I'm about to switch the battery. And uh, yeah, so we saw the Echo. The Echo, durable as hell. That's why I like it. Uh, it fires up good, low maintenance. Say something. All right, now for Kuchar. <laughs> I'm not I'm not so confident. I think the handlebars might have a risk. We're gonna drop it down on the bottom plate though. Now at first glance this feels it just feels cheap and this is aluminum or steel but it's just very very thin. Ooh the guard broke no biggie let's do it again it's solid it's a little scuffed up 
<laughs> I put this baby to work. Now, like I said, that guard. Well, that just needs to come off. Let's take it off. See, that's the thing with these. Is the companies always build these guards so cheap and crappy. And they might stop a rock. I get it. But they just get beat up. They never stay in place. They're just junk. And for the most part, this one had a pretty good amount of guard here where it actually would stop something maybe. But uh, I don't think so. Well, we will have to replace the blade. That's okay. I might run it just as it is for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now, I was super confident in throwing that echo. Let's uh. Oh. Let's go look at the damage. I'm telling you, I knew this was a weak spot on him. Okay. This handlebar is just not gonna hold up to wear and tear. It's too thin. That's okay. I'll fix that. She got a little bent. We'll just... That looks about right. <laughs> Bend it right back. No biggie. Worst case scenario, well, need to put some different handlebars on it. Or uh, I'd really like to see one that's like an actual weed eater. Having a powerhouse like this with an actual weed eater uh, would be great, you know, one that I can hold and have more as a uh, finesse and precise tool. Like I said, the blade, well, the blade didn't do so good, but that doesn't mean the unit's junk. That means the blade's cheap. Now, I would say that in my, in my view, this passes the test. Is it a 10 out of 10? No, but it's probably a 6 out of 10. And if you don't abuse your equipment, you'll probably be fine. So I was trying to show it on the extreme side, but I think you could really do something cool with these. And uh, I say the good old coochie monster gets a pass. We'll see more of that on the channel for sure.